Good day, YouTube. 1MJ here, and welcome back. All right, Monday lunchtime here in Australia. Market still just kind of traveling sideways down ever so slightly. Bitcoin dominance still sitting around that 38%, but again, coming down ever so slightly. A little bit of volume there, which is nice. Again, people buying the dip, will it hold? Again, the million dollar question. Bitcoin now just under $42,000. And looking interesting on the charts, and gas prices come down a little bit. I think they were $12 yesterday, $11, so down to $9, which is nice. All right, let's just have a quick look at the markets, uh, and then we'll have a look at the charts. But today, I want to bring you a project that I'm really looking forward to. Now, before we go any further, this is never financial advice. And just because I'm looking forward to it doesn't mean it's going to be any good and it's going to be around for years and its price is going to go through the roof. It could completely, you know, shit the bed and nothing happens with it uh, and you lose, you know, all your money. So do not just jump into it because I am. I'm going to tell you what I like about it and what I why I'm excited about it. But please go and do your own research. I'd hate for someone to come back and say, you recommended this because I'm not recommending it. I'm just telling you I like it. That's not a recommendation in any way. The only recommendation I will give is for you to go and have a look at it yourself and then make up your own mind whether you like it. But we'll get on to that shortly. All right, last 24 hours, top 100, what's done well? Because there has been some movers for sure. There we go, Phantom's up, Adam's up, OKB, Uniswap making a nice move, Spell, Osmosis, Mana, Ada's continued to surge, got down to $1.12 I think, something like that, $1.09, and now back up to $1.40. I, you know, I was telling you that I thought it was going to have its bounce and make a move up, and it has. Now everything's still going to be based on Bitcoin, if Bitcoin, you know, also shits the bed and goes south, you're probably going to see everything dump, but... That hasn't happened just yet. So, you know, there's cause for a little bit of optimism. I just wouldn't get too carried away. A lot of people are kind of suspecting that there's going to be a short squeeze because we've got some people going short at the moment. So, look, a short squeeze would be nice. But anyway, we got some gains there. No double-digit gains. One got, you know, pretty close, but nothing too crazy considering the market is down overall, though, but only 02 of a percent. All right, what hasn't fared well? Olympus Dow continues to go down, getting hit really hard. Uh, Rose Network, again, it had its pump. Convex Finance had its pump. And that's what we need to remember, is a lot of these coins were pumping not too long ago, and now they're having retracements. Hence why, just be careful of all this, because they could go down tomorrow or the day after. We just need to be careful of that. So a sideways market. How's Bitcoin doing? Here's the interesting part. We are outside of this channel at the moment. But again, this line can be moved ever so slightly. This isn't, you know, the exact line that it has to follow. But we just need to wait and see if this is going to be something like this. We bounce around and then we simply fall back down and go lower. But again, a lot of people suspect that kind of $40,000 level was the bottom. Look, I'd love for it to be the bottom and I hope it's the bottom. I just don't know if it's the bottom. I'm not completely sold. I'm still somewhat suspicious that this can happen. But at the moment, it looks like at least a local low for now, whether it is the low. Yep, time will tell. All right, Ethereum, how's Ethereum doing? Something sort of similar. It set that low and came down to, you know, basically some old sort of support resistance levels and has pumped back up. And now it is just holding on to this kind of, fairly stable level here, level here, but it is on the downside of it as opposed to the upside. But this line isn't, you know, 100% exact. It could be thereabouts. So that says 300 and, sorry, 3,343. This says 3,327. Thereabouts. Will it hold? That's what we're looking for. You know, similar to Bitcoin, was that the bottom? Total market cap. All right. Again, we're still just under this downwards trending line, so no major sort of moves have been made yet. We're still waiting for some kind of confirmation. And again, this chart can end up just like this. We get a fake breakout, so a fake out, and then we break down and go even lower. Totally possible, but we could also simply come out, retest it, and then take off and we're back to everything being great again. But it's all based on, you know, the thing that, you know, all markets play a part in other markets. That's the way it is. If you know all the other markets are still pretty shaky, which they weren't looking too great the other day, then Bitcoin and cryptocurrency is probably not going to do too well. Again, they're still con considered speculative sort of assets. So we're still waiting for this to really decide whether it's going to make a move. And something that has me somewhat worried 
is how Gary Gensler wouldn't say whether Ethereum was a security or not. And there's now talk that the Mr. Hillman who came out and said he didn't believe it was a security or he thought it was originally but isn't now, then the SEC is now coming out and saying that was just his personal opinion. It wasn't the SEC stance. So we still have to wait and see maybe Ethereum will get deemed a security and then that way again the the thought process and the rumor is that then the SEC will be able to go after all the DeFi projects and that and that's really going to hurt the industry big time if Ethereum then gets found a security because it basically means everything could be found a security but in saying that they would then really have to go back and deem Bitcoin a security uh, well no they wouldn't because there was never an ICO it was always just being mined and Ethereum, I think, had an ICO and there was also mining involved. So there's definitely some worrying times out there. And if that is the case, then all crypto is really uh, going to be in a bit of trouble. It doesn't mean it's dead. It just means there could be uh, some severe downside. So something to consider and definitely has me worried. But it's not necessarily that I believe that is what's going to happen. It's just something that has me concerned. All right, moving on. A protocol that I'm really looking forward to. So Shade Protocol. So this is a DeFi kind of play and it's on the back of Secret Network. Now Secret Network, a lot of people get confused and think, oh, it's a privacy coin. So the, you know, the authorities are going to come after it. It is a privacy coin, but not the way you think of. It doesn't hide everything. It's not a uh, a protocol that can't be tracked it just doesn't show all the information when you send a transaction to somebody they can read all the previous data from that transaction like everything where that coin's been what hands it's been through you know the amounts that uh, it's been in so they can see how much you've got in your wallet and all those kind of things what secret does is blocks that information not all the information just some of it we'll have a look at secret soon so i really like secret it's one of my favorite projects and it's my kind of my dark horse that i think can do really really well but it's again that's just my opinion it's never financial advice there's still a whole lot of things that can happen in this space that can completely wreck it but i really like that and now shade protocol this is like a dap basically that is coming out on top of Secret Network, but they are doing an airdrop. So if you were holding Cosmos, uh, which is the Atom token, Terra Luna, and Secret Network, I think December 13th, 14th or something like that, and you're staking it, you're going to get airdrops from Shade Protocol. So it's not actually out yet, but I am super bullish on this. I highly recommend that you go onto YouTube and put in Shade Protocol and listen to a couple of the interviews and things there uh, massive bullish fan on this but again that doesn't mean it's going to do well ladies and gentlemen do not buy it simply because i'm bullish on it you've got to make your own mind up i'm never going to offer you financial advice i'm getting all this sh um, all this i'm getting my shade protocol as an airdrop but depending on the price and things like that i'll probably look to buy some as well but what you need to remember is when it first comes out it'll probably pump then it'll have a retracement, so wait for the retracement would be something that I would be looking for. You make your own mind up. It may not you know, retrace back down to the prices that you could have bought it at when it first comes out, but just, yeah, buy beware when coins first come out. Most of them, if they have some traction in that, pump really well, and then they have big heavy retracements after that because people start taking money, taking profits when they got it really cheap and things like that, and hoping to buy in cheaper. I'm not going to be looking to take profits to then try and buy in cheaper. I'm simply just going to wait for a retracement to then buy some more because I really like the protocol. Now, Shade is the governance token. But look, what Shade is, as again, it's privacy for DeFi. It's not 100% private, so the governments can't track it. That's not how it works. It's just hiding all the extra information that no one else needs to know, how much is in your wallet and all the rest of it. And you can actually give access to the tax agents and things like that to be able to see that information. Just not every other man out there. So that's how it works. It's not the Monero kind of privacy sort of thing. It's not like that. It has similar factors. And again, there's a reason that I'm so bullish on it and Secret Network because they just block the extra information that is no one's business. Like you can put an NFT out there 
and then they can see who owns it and see the wallet that it's attached to and all the rest of it, you should be able to put the NFT out there for people to see and no one know uh, how much is in the wallet and how many other NFTs you have and you know who the specific owner of it is. And that's what Secret Network does. And that is one of the reasons I like Shade Protocol because they're now doing DeFi like that. It's no one else's business how much money you're putting into something and all the rest of it. It's still on chain. It can be seen by the people that need to see it, but just not every other man and his dog. That's not their business. That is what I like about Shade and Secret Network. They're not those kind of privacy coins that you're thinking of. They're just privacy by default. They will, hold, they will hide information that other people don't need to see, but will allow you to give access to the people that do need to see it, i.e. again, the tax man and the government and things like that. All right. So what I really like is there's Shade Protocol, so that's the governance token, but they're coming out with a stable coin and it's going to be called Silk. Now this is a very, very interesting stable coin because it is, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Oh, so lost my mind. Oh, I lost my train of thought. Algorithmic, that's it. It's an algorithmic stable coin and it is not pegged to the US dollar. It is pegged to a whole bunch of different assets. So a few different dollars. Don't get me wrong, the US dollars in there, I think the pound, the sterling's in there and some other things, but also some equities uh, and things like that, so some assets. So this will really set a new stage for a stable coin, because let's say the US dollar fails. All the stable coins really are based around the US dollar at the moment, and I'm not saying the US dollar is gonna fail, it's still the US dollar, but if the US dollar were to fail and you know, basically trade down to almost nothing, Silk would be all right because it's not based on the US dollar. It's based on a whole stack of different things and it's algorithmic. So that is what I really like about it. Again, come over, have a look. So Shade Protocol IO, come and uh, dot IO, sorry, come and have a look at it. Again, I highly recommend you have a look at the interviews that was done by one of the founders of it on YouTube. They do go for a while, but there's lots of really good information in there. And it also helps explain secret, not just shade as well. Now, because I'm talking about shade, again, I just want to go over secret again. This is my kind of dark horse. It's a layer one. It's built on the Atom uh, sort of platform, although it's not Atom. Again, it's its own layer one massive uh, bullish fan of this again privacy by default not completely hiding everything but just not showing everything to everyone else out there they can't see how much is in your wallet which is no one's business except for yours and the tax man because they need to look and you can give that to them you just don't give it to everybody else all right src s s c r t so the secret network look how it's been doing it's been on a constant uptrend for a while. Don't get me wrong, it's had periods where it's gone down and up. And at the moment, it's looking like it's undervalued to the dollar. Now again, some people say, oh, well, you could probably need to move this and you know do it something more like that. That's a better indication. All right, then maybe it's sitting just on sort of fair, fair value. But again, I had mine sort of around about here. There were just a few touch points there and I think it's undervalued at the moment. But it's all still based on you know many other factors. Just because this chart says it's undervalued doesn't mean it can't go a whole lot lower. Something else you need to keep in mind. So again, against Ethereum, it's up really, really high at the moment. That doesn't mean it has to lose value. It just means Ethereum could go on a big run and uh, Secret Network basically holds its value. So it'll drop down against Ethereum, but still hold its dollar value, just go sideways, or maybe even still travel up a little bit. And against Bitcoin as well, it's still somewhat relatively high, but not anywhere near as high as it's been before. So again, Shade Network is the one, Shade Protocol, sorry, is the, it's an airdrop, but they're also going to be selling the coin. You're gonna be able to buy some, but there's not a whole lot of shade. So just remember that. But it is more the Silk stablecoin that I'm really, really liking what it's about. Again, it's not simply based on the dollar, which most stable coins are. So if the US dollar tanks, then all these stable coins are completely wrecked. This is based on a multitude of different currencies and again, some other assets. I can't remember exactly what they were. Uh, I should have written it down, so my apologies. But again, just put in Shade Protocol and the last 
the most recent sort of interview that the uh, one of the co-founders done, uh, and he explains that there. Uh, again, it goes for a, quite a long time, but there's heaps of really good information in there. And again, particularly, not particularly, but also about secret network. It really does explain what it's all about. And I think a lot of people have been scared off, not that there's plenty of people that haven't already joined, but people new to the space, they just hear privacy, oh, that's the one the governments are going to crack down. It's not that kind of privacy coin. All right, that's it from me. Again, if you like uh, the sounds of this, I highly recommend going and have a, having a look and having a read, the white paper and all the rest of it, Twitter, all the, you know, Discord, you name it. But I am in no way, shape or form telling you to go buy it. I'm just telling you that I like it and that I am going to be looking to get more when it does come out. What you do with that information is completely on you. Stay safe. Be kind to one another. Can the game train hold? We'll wait and see. And I'll see you next time.